And steal no silver. Maybe I can't send you to jail for what you wrote. But I can send you for being a thief. I know something about you. Don't you forget that. But what you may say is a lot of time to write letters in jail. Plenty of time to write the truth about you. And the paper's free. Nobody would believe what you wrote. I don't know. I've been told I'm a pretty good writer. Already sold a lot of books. Call the police, Elizabeth. All you do is scan and lie to try to get what you want. Evelyn, stop. You are godless woman. Ain't you tired, Miss Haley? Ain't you tired? You know, when I was, as I was walking the red carpet, someone asked, well, what sets you apart from everybody in the room? Well, I said, well, I'm black. <laughs> Just being real. And frankly, what keeps me in the business, seriously, is not always the love of my work. I'm just being very honest because sometimes I really don't love it. Sometimes, you know, you get to a point where you don't really want to always be in it. Sometimes the scripts aren't so good. Sometimes the people you work with are egotistical. Sometimes you're just tired. You know, you want to work all the time. Then as soon as you get to the set, you're like, I'm tired. You know, I'm tired, you know? And so you don't always love what you do. But what keeps me in the business is hope. And that's the hope that women of color are also a part of the narrative, that our stories are just as potent because we also have the power of transformation. We also have the power to be quirky and sexy and different, funny, heartfelt, all of those things. And I consider it to be a larger purpose in life that keeps me in the business. My mother has an eighth grade education and she started having children, got married at 15. Her mother got married at 15 and had babies at 15. 18 children she had. My mom had six. And she grew up, she had all of her children at home in my grandmother's house. My grandmother gave birth to all of us. And I happen to think that my mom's story is very interesting. Very interesting. And those are the stories I want to see on screen just as much as anybody else's story. I always say I want to be Meryl Streep. And I believe and I really hope that we have the imagination, that we have the courage to bring those stories to life because I want to do for other young women of color what Cicely Tyson did to me in that apartment with the slats showing underneath the plaster and the bad plumbing and no phone and hardly any food and rats is that she allowed me to have the visual of what it means to dream. When I saw her in the autobiography of Miss Jane Pittman, she threw me a rope. That's what we do as performers, as actors, as icons. We throw other people the rope. And that's what keeps me in it. <laughs>